In this tutorial, we will solve equations using two inverse steps. The first thing you need to do is to find your variable. Look for the variable to determine which side of the equation you will be working with first. Second, if the variable is located in the numerator of a fraction, then multiply every term on both the left and right hand sides by the denominator to clear that fraction away. Step 3. Use your inverse operations to clear the constants first and the coefficients second. So let's take a little preview of the movie. Pause the movie now and look at these four examples. If you think you got the hang of it, you can go try your problems. But I'm going to work out these types of problems in the next few examples. So here we go. Number one. 6x plus 4 equals negative 32. This side has the variable. So 6 and 4 are the numbers I'll be working with today. Now I can clear the 6 first, or I can clear the 4 first. It doesn't matter, but 1 is easier. If you clear the 4, which is a constant, if you clear that first, then you simply only have to do one operation to both sides. That property of equality occurred because these numbers are additive inverses, which means they make a zero. Don't write that, though. That defeats the purpose. We used it so that it could disappear or go away. Rewrite the remaining work. Now it's time to clear the coefficient. For the sake of time, I'm going to skip the check step. Number two. This is the side I'll be working with. Clear the constant five, then clear the coefficient negative four. Inverse operation. Correctly rewrite. Inverse operation. Now these here, they're called multiplicative inverses, and they don't make zero, they make a one. Negative four divided by negative four is one. Now typically, we leave that coefficient invisible. All right, let's take a look at the next two. This is the side I'll be working on. Cross off my inverse. Rewrite my question. Now this time, the coefficient is in the denominator. And the opposite of dividing is multiplying. One more time. Locate the variable. Clear the constant first. Now the inverse of multiplying is dividing, but we don't divide by fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. Cross off your multiplicative inverse, and this time I'm going to use a calculator. 18 times 5 over 2. And this calculator has a fraction button right here. That came out nice and neat. All right, last two. Now, question number five has a sentence in the numerator. So I cannot add eight because that eight is part of a fraction. So I need to clear that fraction first. I need to get rid of that dividing by seven. The inverse of dividing is multiplying. That was easy enough.
Okay, last one. This one's a little tricky, so pay attention. This is the side I will work with. But this is the constant. Not this. The negative sign here, that belongs to the 1 fourth x. So please be careful when you're doing your inverse operation. It's not a pl it's not, this negative doesn't belong to the 5. 5 is positive, so the inverse is subtract here, or minus, or negative. Be careful when you're rewriting to transpose that negative sign here. Final step, divide your coefficient, but since it's a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal. And that concludes our lesson on solving two-step equations.